Okay, let's say you want to create a PDF file from a, a web page. So for example, I got this PDF, PDF page here where there is all the Romeo and Juliet um, text file here with Gutenberg, you see here, uh, and it's a PDF file. You could do just also like this, like print and save as a PDF and you will obtain the same results and even faster maybe, but you can do it with Python and I will show you um, how, um, what can you do that is more useful than this maybe. So first of all, you get to install, uh, uh, you get to install PDF kit. So you here and do pip install PDF, PDF kit. I just have it, uh, I have it yet, so the requirement is already satisfied. And so um, I won't need to install it anymore, but if you haven't installed it, you need to install it. So once you've done this, you can import PDF kit and then do PDF kit from URL. So you're gonna print here the, um, the link to the PDF, to the, to the website you want to get it into a pdf and then save it as rmg pdf so that's the basic uh, user pdf kit so let's see if it works let's run this it will take a couple of seconds to do it and um, after this it will show some now don't worry about this you see page 61 and 61 done so if you close this and go into the page you will find this rnj pdf as we named it if you open it you will see that you get all your pdf file just like uh, you could have done uh, as i showed you before into the browser itself so let's see now what else we can do the with a uh, PDF, so if you go somewhere, for example, you can find a lot of this information and you can do it from file. So if you don't want to use an URL, you can go to a file that you got on your local um, computer uh, in a local folder, then you got this, um, for example, micropyramid.html file and you convert it into a into a, a PDF just like before and maybe you um, you could create a function for this so def um, PDF and uh, address and so here you can do if address so if there is this HTTPS in address then it will show this and uh, If there is not this HTTPS into address, it will 
do this thing here. So with this function that we call uh, make PDF, we will be able to uh, create a PDF from uh, with this name. specific more uh, intuitive with file name and with this one and if it, if there is not this HTTPS or w www um, it will uh, search it from from a local file so let's say if this works let's call it lj2 or if there is some error something like this it's taken sometimes to make the 61 pages okay so it seems that it's worked let's see if there is a rnj2 and it's the same so it worked and uh, Okay, now I for this from file I can so I can create my own HTML or get it from somewhere and do the same. So, um, for example, if I do make a basic HTML file with a header, this is the file and the paragraph like yes it seems to work fine and you save it as a zero zero um example dot html okay you can run this by your own and it should work there it is yeah, this is the HTML file, but let's convert it to a um, a text file. So instead of instead of this, let me put it like this into. Instead of this, I'm gonna do um, example dot HTML. I wanna convert it into a PDF file. And I want to call it example.pdf. Let's see if it works and it, it recognize that it's not a, so it's a sum because it's simple. The example PDF, let's open it. Yeah, there it is. We created it and it works fine. We could have put it into uh, this one, um, some uh, images etc so this is simple to make it and the um, the main uh, the thing that you can do is that you can make your own text etc and you can create for example some um, letters that you want to address to different people and so you can create multiple pdfs like this uh, uh, things that um, it is takes more time if you want to just uh, use um, make different HTML file and then convert it convert them to PDF doing uh, it into a browser right with the right click of the mouse and printing as a file the that page so you can automate things like this when you have you know for example a, a text that says Dear uh, customer, um, I want to send you a gift um, for being our 
client um, since one year. Okay, now when I send this one to different to a database of customers, maybe. So we get customers equal. We get our John. John Smith and Sarah uh, Bruce, etc. We get to customers, we can get as many customers as we want. And so to do this, for example, let's see if we can also make something on from string here for example generate from string the following script gives us pdf from string so let's see how this one works and um, mm, how to generate this one so elif HTML address we do this else if there is not in, in else from string address and uh, and file name So let's see how this works. We cannot have. Let's see that this one ends with the fish so that it's more specific. So when I do this is another example with simple text and we're gonna call it this one text no um let's call it string so with simple str string okay let's see if, if it works like i think it works let's open it I call it this one string so let's open it here it is and maybe let's see if this if I can add something like uh, some HTML stuff page one title let's see if this works Okay, now it's always the same name. Okay, as you can see, you can use HTML and it will work quite well. There is some string thing here with these letters very next to each other. So, and I don't know if I put here let me see if it's the same for example dot html when it converts an html if it's the same so i called it string i think this time right yes so it's string but it's made from an html file all right so this like this got these letters very close to each other Okay, so it's not um, for the string thing. Okay, and um, now that we've done this, we can do, we can pass text here. And let me call this customers, customers. Now, if we do this, let's see what happens to customers PDF. So 
with your client dear I want to send you okay customer being into this this angular parenthesis it hasn't been printed because it takes like it's a parameter it's an HTML parameter so I wanna make for example for um, client in customers customers this one and we want to do make PDF and we want to do text make PDF text dot re replace customer customer with client and uh, so this is the text mm -hmm. and then um, I want to say one each one of these with um, with um, fn will be f of customer space client and here uh, f and so the file name will be this one with that one with the name so i want to use just this and let's put it into a function called print um gif gift print gift so print gift let's run it customers it's not defined customers let's see what happened okay we get two of this one thing that I forget is to put a PDF at the end So we got customer Saros and customer John Smith. Um, there it is. Let's open this one of John Smith. And so it is. Dear John Smith, I wanted to send you, etc. Let's go to Saros and open it. So dear Saros, I want to send you a gift. Be a client since one year. So as you can see here now. We have made PDF and we can make different PDF with the same text, changing the name of all our customers in here. So in this way, you can use PDF kit in a more convenient way than uh, just having to um, um, click on the right, um, on the right, uh, as I said, you can go in every page, click right and doing and print it as a PDF and you will obtain the same thing but if you want to do automate things like this like creating personalized thing for different customers even thousands of customers you can do uh, create a PDF for each one of them and eventually you can also make some code to attach this one to each one's email and send and send this file to everyone having mm, just adding the code to 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 send an email to each one of them you need the email of each one of them and maybe you if I, these are your clients you can you can easily do that and maybe we can uh, make this in in another video uh, where we will also uh, add the code to to send this um, this file attach it to an email an email to each client so that everything will be good to send something uh, to your customers for example in a simple way like this thank you and see you next time